YouTube, it's your girl Carissa Reckon. Coming at you guys, your video for today. So, I'm down here in Albemarle, North Carolina. I'm delivering to a tractor supply, but I got to show you this turn. It got me, but I wanna show it to you. All right, let's go. But before we get started, press subscribe to the Rankings World channel, down there below in red. Hit the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram, I am Carissa Reckon. But let's see what this tractor supply turn was all about. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Carissa Rekha, coming at you guys with a video for the day. So, down here at Albemarle, North Carolina, and I had to deliver to a tractor supply. I'm about to walk you through my tractor supply. You know, I can't video and drive at the same time, so that's why I'm gonna make this video by hand. But let me start from here, all right? So this right here is the back of the tractor supply. It's the angles down here at Almar. So you have to go down the side road and come all the way down through the back, all right? This truck was right here when I came through. But this is the turn. Do you see this? This is the turn. So, I had to come all the way over here and I wanted to show you my tracks because you got a 53 footer. I had to come all the way over here and for missing that, can you see somebody done tore it up? But I landed all the way over in the grass. This is my tracks. I had to put it up in the grass to get through. I don't know if you can see it. All oh, this is my tracks. Now, it's really not good to drive up on the curb. It's not good at all. It's not good. If it's that tight, you really don't need to be back there. But because you can get stuck in the curb, you can get stuck in the dirt, especially if it's raining, I would have sank because I'm so heavy. But the front of my wheels, as long as I got something like the, the curve to hit and kind of push and guide me, you can make it happen. But if it get too tight, if you get to an area that just don't look right and you and you done studied it and you kind of get in and you still kind of like, eh, can I make this turn? Can I not? Stop what you're doing, back up, pull out, start over. All right? And if you do it, if you start over again and you just ain't getting it back all the way out of the situation, don't keep trying to force something that's not there, okay? Always remember that. Don't force a turn because when you force a turn, you're gonna end up hitting something. But if you got a turn, you really can kind of maneuver, work with, with the grass, work with the curve, which you're not supposed to be on. Get out, keep looking at it. Get out, keep looking at it. And if you get to a curve and, or you get to a turn and be like, hmm, can I make that? Get out, judge it, measure it, take your steps, 53 feet, 10 feet from the tire to the, to the, to, from the tire to the tail end of that trailer. It's, it's, it's counting about 10 feet. If once it hit them tires and it, if it can hit them tires, then that means you're not gonna make that turn. But if you done made the turn at the tires, then you good. That's another whole other lesson, I don't got time. But I want to show you the next turn, all right? The next turn, right behind the building. So this is the building. You see how people done, done track, track the tires done turn, tore all that up, they done tore all this up right here. Track the tires done hit all that. You gotta get all the way over here on the edge. So I got all the way here. All the way here, all the way here, all the way here. Look, I'm still here. I had my, t my, t my tire was right here. This is where my tire was at, eating it, eating it, eating it. And I still wasn't clear, all right? I still wasn't clear. So I had to get up in here a little bit, but it's a curve. I had to get up in here and look at my tracks just to make it through that turn small intervention when i got in the inside of track and supply the man said which way do you come around Cause i didn't see you come from the front way i said i went around the back he said dang you did a good job <laughs> and let me tell y'all yeah i did a good job getting through there but i ain't do that for you honey i, I don't do nothing for no props i don't care if i look crazy still getting out two three times look if it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna fit i ain't gonna push it Let's go, continue with the video. Question is, should I should I have stopped and went around from the beginning? Yes. I should have stopped 
before I hit that first curb, I should have stopped and went all the way back around, come back out, and got up in here and turned around. But I didn't. So that's my bad. I didn't tear up nothing. I did go over the curve. But at the same time, I'm one of those type of people. I know if I couldn't make it, I would have stopped. Like if I really could, like oh, I, I, it ain't raining, it, the ground ain't wet, I can get it. I got enough traction, I can get it. But if it wasn't for that, I would've never did it. So what I'm trying to say is, I always judge, get out. Get, I don't care if it's the middle of the road. I done did that before. Get out, judge it, read it. If you cannot make it, don't force it. It's just like if you trying to be intimate with somebody and, and she feeling uncomfortable and she tell you no. Take that no, pull away from it. Don't try to, well, baby, I can do, I can do. No, stop, you're done. She said no. That's what happens to people. They don't understand no. So it's the same thing with a stop. If that you get to a turn and it'd be like, nah, something question you, is a no in your head question you, stop. Listen to your conscience and don't try to force that turn. Cause you're gonna tip your equipment and you're gonna lose your time. So that's just my little chunk it with Clarissa Rankin tip for today. I hope you really like it. And I would, like I said, I would would have took y'all through the curve with me, but I can't be on the phone while I'm driving. But it's it's just that just just listen to what the words I'm saying. Stop. Think. Get out. Look. Pay attention to what you're doing. All right. Press subscribe down there below on red. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so every time we go live, you'll be the first one notified. Also, it's your girl Clarissa Rankin. Follow me on Instagram at I am Clarissa Rankin. Peace out. Happy Friday, bitch.